Have you always wanted to be the cool guy? The person who for some reason can break people's necks when he's just walking past them. Someone who never seems stressed or nervous and has an air of confidence which makes people wonder is he actually faking it or is he actually so cool? Well if you think of all the people who come into your mind when you think about cool and collected you'll notice that there are several characteristics that they all got in common. They're all confident, unique and generally speaking on friendly terms with everyone. And therefore there's literally no reason why you can't be like that. So that's why in today's video I want to go over 8 ways to be more cool. I'll go over the number one thing that makes people not want to be around you and how to actually change that so they constantly want you in their life. I will also go over how cool people create an air of mystery and how you can actually gain respect with this one trick. Sounds cool right? Well that's actually less than half of all the tips in this video. So if you watch this video till the end it will give you the competitive advantage to be more cool. With that being said let's jump into the video. Number one don't be needy. Remember people who are cool are not desperate or needy. If you've got a problem, don't actually expect others to solve it for you. Instead, try to solve problems yourself whenever you can. Because if you're not needy, people will want to help you or will ask for your help and this quality trait will attract more people to you. Neediness is simply a really big turn off even if you're in a tight spot. Even then, just don't beg people for help, act like you can't be alone or expect others to fix your problems because they won't. Friendships are great but don't act like you're gonna die if you can't spend a Friday night with your friends. Because the truth is, getting some alone time is crucial as well. Keeping yourself for yourself allows you to focus on yourself and not about what others are thinking. Which is also a key factor for being calm. If someone hasn't called you back, just lay them off. There's no need for you to follow up with annoying text messages. Just simply give people their space and they will respect you a lot more. So what's the opposite of neediness? Yes, careless. That's what you should strive for. Number two, speak up. Observe people who are actually cool. They usually speak confidently and clearly at a good pace. They don't chatter rapidly, but at the same time, they don't say um, uh, or mumble. They say what they mean and mean what they say. Be confident in your word and don't let anyone say something else. If you state your opinion and someone disagrees, don't worry. You said what you felt and people will respect you for that. Unless you say it knowing that you won't offend someone else. Because that's not cool, that's being a prick. However, if you're gonna express your opinion, make it count. Don't shout out your opinion just to be heard. Be ready to back it up if you have to. Number three, practice self-disclosure. The more you disclose yourself, the better you understand yourself. Disclosures, conscious and subconscious are act to help you to reveal yourself to others. This may include but it's not limited to thoughts, feelings, aspirations, goals, failures, successes, dreams and desires. I know that's a ton to take in, but I'd rather over deliver and make sure you get all the value. Because self-disclosure happens slowly. Don't tell the first new person that you meet all about your personal life or things will actually start to go south. Hiding information about yourself makes you look cool. Number four. Conversation King. Everyone loves someone who knows what to say at the right moment. Don't try to dominate the conversation. You don't need to share a similar story at every event if someone is talking about a certain topic. Just listen and comment briefly on the topic that the person mentioned. Most of the times it is better to sort of be quiet and analyze the conversation. Because this way you can enjoy the humor of your friends and be a good listener. So be a good listener. Try to make the other person feel important but only if you genuinely can because false enthusiasm will appear sarcastic because when you listen to people it doesn't only make them feel good about themselves but also feel good about you because you're that person that actually cares to listen to them and therefore you're so much cooler than everyone else so if you're stuck next time remember this golden rule be a good listener because most people only want to talk about themselves and so if you keep the conversation going talking about them you'll make them feel special and therefore they would love to talk to you. You simply wait to make the right comment. For example, if you just join a group when they're in a conversation, don't just rush into it. You'll make yourself look like a fool. Instead, just join the group and wait for the right moment to make a comment on the top. And obviously, after that, you can be playful. Making fun of people is fine as long as you know your limits because different people have different tolerance levels and therefore, Make sure they know that you're kidding. Number five, use humor. Who people know how to use humor to ease any situation. They don't get annoyed or angry. They are aware of other people's emotions, but at the same time, don't let other people's emotions affect themselves. However, it is equally important to not hold back strong emotions. You should let go of pity things 
But if you're going through a rough time, please speak to someone and don't keep it to yourself. Learn to laugh at yourself. Being cool doesn't mean being perfect. And actually being able to find humor in your clumsy things or stupid things is actually the hallmark of being cool. People will not only respect you for it, but they will also like you for being a human. You can be cool or you can be too cool. Because people who are too cool are taking themselves too seriously. And therefore they find themselves too cool to laugh at silly jokes and have fun. Please don't be that guy. Number six. Keep your cool. The very definition of cool is being calm and composed while also being under control and socially adept. Many times, cool people are those that don't get excited about things. They are the people that don't always have to talk unless they have something cool to say. So therefore, learn how to deal with people and don't get frustrated or angry. Being cool is natural. Stay calm, stay under control and you'll be good to go. Oftentimes, people who are striving to be the coolest are usually sabotaging themselves by trying too hard. Because the thing is, people like people who are not trying super hard but are still successful. Well, how does that work? When one is between trying and not trying at all, things just naturally fall into place. And therefore, take a deep breath because being cool is all about being relaxed. Don't lose your cool. If you feel like you're about to lose your temper, burst into tears or lose your control in any way, take a deep breath and excuse yourself. Number seven, don't use demerit goods for attention. There are many, many people who take smoking, bullying, drinking and other demerit goods into their lifestyle. Most often this comes from negative reinforcements. After doing something bad, the person may be rewarded with attention. Because some people might say, I can't believe he did that. And if you're someone with low self-esteem and are not used to getting attention, this will impact you drastically. Because now you're getting attention and you're feeling good about it. But this is a bad way to get attention and will definitely not make you look cool. It is easy to misinterpret attention for popularity, even if it's doing for something wrong. If you want to be cool, you need to know your limits. You should never replace negative attention for being cool. Most of the time, people who are breaking competitions about law breaking or doing something illegal and bunging beer tend not to be the cool people. Because if a group of people don't like you for who you are or your lifestyle, just simply move on. Don't do drugs. Real cool people know how to be cool without the use of drugs or alcohol. Because it won't make you look cool, it will only make you smell bad. All the smokers won't smell the bad smell because they're used to it. They're smokers as well. Because when you start smoking, you'll most likely start to hang out with smokers as well. And this will actually start to limit your selections of friends as well. Because most non-smokers hate the smell of smokes and therefore don't want to be around you. I'm not telling you to judge smokers. I'm already doing that for you in this video. I just don't want you to take up a habit which will cost you a fortune and at the same time will decrease your health. Another thing is to avoid arguing because when you know you're right, you just know it. You don't need to waste time, effort and energy by attempting to persuade someone who hasn't seen the things that you've seen. Number eight, don't just think about it. Do it. It's all very well to watch YouTube videos about self-improvement, but you need to get out there and apply the theory that resonates with you. Do it. I know it's scary, but at the same time it's so, so invigorating. Who knows who you meet and at the same time what they might be able to offer you. Be a person of action and not a person of ideas. Of course, thinking things through before jumping the gun is actually a good trait. But thinking things through and actually don't taking action which will lead you to not getting anywhere isn't. And that sums it up on how to be a cool person. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and also consider to hit the subscribe button and help your brother out. That's it for me, I'll see you on my next video.